All right, y'all. We're going to judge retro world. Today, today is a beautiful day, y'all. Today, you're going with me on my journey of my very first broadcasting video monitor. I thought I got a PVM, but I ended up getting a BVM. This is a professional. Um, this is a broadcasting video monitor, which some people say is better than the PVMs because they were built in the higher tolerances. Just like this Ikigami that I got here. This is an Ikigami TM20-90RH. And what that means is it has 900 scan lines of resolution. As you can see down there, I have composite feed going into it right now. And it's not the correct composite feed. I just have it just sitting there uh, softly on it. And so it's not the best connection. I ordered some BNC uh, RCA to BNC adapters. And when they come in, the picture will improve. It will actually get clearer because right now this is just composite. And I'm going to be switching it over to component. But I wanted to show you this before I started cleaning it up. It came basically brand new. The guy I bought it from works at a video uh, editing company here in Dallas, Texas. And he was throwing these all the way and he said, can I have them? So they gave it to him and he ended up trying to sell me an 8 inch Sony. And he's like, hey, I also got these other two monitors just in case. I was like, well, let me see those first. And so he showed me this Ikigami with the JVC. And what sold me on this Ikigami, not only is it awesome, it's 900 scan line, but look at the controls in the front. These have all these beautiful controls to adjust everything you need. And then one special feature. And it works perfect to pull out drawer, y'all. Look at that. Everything looks brand new. Everything works. So if I want to do any kind of adjusting to the screen, brightness, hue, chroma, um, can't remember what this is called. I do it here. The width, the height, everything. Expansion, horizontal phase, centering, vertical centering. Everything controlled with this dash, this keyboard right here. And I can't believe how beautiful, look, it looks brand new. I need to go ahead and dust off the screen. The screen is very dusty. Just needs a good wash. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, just warm soapy water, dishwashing liquid soap, and a rag. And I'm just gonna very lightly come and just keep cleaning it until I get all of the dust off. But let me show you the back. It is made out of solid metal. It's very heavy, 85 pounds. Back here, you can actually see this is the, uh, there you go, model number. It was manufactured in November 2004, yeah. And this is the main power switch. So before you turn off the monitor or disconnect the power, turn the main switch off and then unplug it. And then this cool guy has a little lock, sorry, has a little lock right here so you can lock in the cord so it doesn't pull out. <laughs> I thought that was a cool feature. That's uh, the detail that this Ikigami puts in. Beautiful heat sinks over here, almost brand new looking inputs it already has the 75 ohm terminals so as i'm feeding in this composite line all janky like this it, it has to daisy chain out right but you have to terminate it if it doesn't have a terminal uh sub termination you know button whatever so it has the bnc terminals just like that 75 ohm resistors Sorry about that. Let me put this back. Okay. But yeah. So I thought this was a VGA input, but it's not. It's a parallel. So it does not take uh, no more than 240p and 480i signals. So component over uh, with the my you know y, YPV PR will work fine with this and composite align. No S video. Kind of sucks. I wish I had S video. But yeah. My first PVM, y'all. So let's get to cleaning it. Like I said, I'm just gonna use a regular rag and start cleaning it. And then I might open it up and dust it out on the inside. But uh, let me let me show you some of the features before I go, at least. So here in the front, of course, you got your aspect ratio. So it can go under scan, uh, four by three, under scan of 16 by nine, 
But uh, I don't like the underscan. I like the normal four by three, so it can fill up the whole screen there. Okay. Let me turn off this. As you can see, actually, this is how pretty it looks just with a composite. And you can see how dusty it is there. But also I can do over here, let's go over here and go to change presets. And then I can change the height. Now I can just turn this little knob and change the height right here. And as I turn it, it adjusts. So I had it at 80. So I'm gonna leave it at 80 right there. Oh, right there. And then to lock it in place. I just hit change reset button back. Ain't that cool? <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Wait till the next video. And uh, until next time, peace and much love from Joe's Retro World.